What is up guys? It is December the 18th and today I have another video where I will edit one of your pictures. We're inspired by this Juice World picture right here. So I want to show you how to recreate this look using your smartphone and the Free Lightroom app only. Now De Costa, you sent me this picture right here and I absolutely thought this was the perfect base to recreate this look. Also this gonna look right here. Um, kind of the same colors that vintage and actually film look and your picture was the perfect base because it also had that white white and clean back wall plus you asked me to kind of create a vintage or film look so this was perfect I thought and today we want to use your picture this one that you sent us right here and turn it into this look I think it comes super close to that film juice world I'm gonna look I hope you like it and of course I've also created a preset on exactly this look it's on my website the link is under this video and it's in the all presets pack with over 100 presets they could just easily paste to every one of your pictures and the cool thing about that pack is that once you have it you will be having new presets every week or at the moment even every day because that preset pack is updating every time I create a new preset so it's a great deal make sure to check it out link is under this video and of course if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to this channel as well and hit the notifications bell to not miss out on any of my future videos because if you want me to edit one of your pictures like this episode today feel free to dm it to me on instagram at steven womack is my handle and then maybe the next video is gonna be about you so make sure to stay tuned now i've said enough let's jump right into this tutorial de costa thanks so much for sending this picture we're gonna open it in the free lightroom app right now here we go now we hit the lights tab down here go to curve on the upper right side and i want you to recreate this curve as it is right here so it's just a smooth s curve with the shadows on the bottom left pulled up a little bit and the highlights on the upper right pulled down just a little bit and then we're done here now the next thing we want to do is just boost the contrast to around plus 13 right here now we pull down the highlights to negative 29 pull down the whites right here to negative 25 or 26 and the blacks down to negative 52 right there now this is the perfect light setting so we go over to color and now we just want to boost the temperature to plus 10 boost the tint as well to plus 12 that purple area and now we want to pull down the saturation to negative 20 right here then we scroll up hit grading and what you want to do for the shadows here is pull them to that green area so we pull the hue slider over to a hue of around 136 right here that green almost aqua area which is perfect and the saturation we want to boost up as well to around 19 or 20 in this case 19 is perfect then we scroll over and now for the midtones here we just want to boost the hue to 56 right here that yellow orange area and the saturation of course as well up to 27 right there then the then the highlights in the end hue we want to boost that up all the way to 300 and 50 almost all the way up right here that purple pink area so it's 351 and the saturation we want to boost that up as well of course to 24 is perfect in this case and then we're done with the grading and now we can really see that vintage color tone coming in already so we go to mix and just kind of fine tune a little bit so we want for the reds we just want to boost up the hue to plus 50 and leave the rest now the orange tones we just want to boost up the hue as well to around plus 40 to make the skin tone a little more green and yellowish kind of looks like film more and then the saturation we want to boost up to plus 26 right here and the luminance up in this case to plus 21 then the yellow tones here we want to boost the hue as well to plus 36 and pull down the saturation a little to negative seven and leave the luminance at zero now the green tones we're not going to change aqua tones we're not going to change but the blue tones right here we just want to pull down the saturation a little to get rid of that blue shimmer of the jacket maybe negative 
40 is good same thing with the purple tones there's a lot of purple in the jacket in the black so you want to pull that down to negative 70 seven right here and you can see the jacket really losing that purple tint so that's perfect we're done here and now the last thing we do is just go to effects over here and we want to boost up the texture a little bit to around plus 13 then we want to pull down the dehaze so we want to bring some haze in to negative 15 or 14 and now of course we also want to add grain to really nail that vintage film vibe to around 32 is perfect and we're done here and this is it guys here's a little before and after and also the cost i hope you like this result that we have right here i hope you're happy with your image how it turned out and i also think we got super close to that gunna and juice world look that you guys requested i really love this look this is a another film vintage look and as you know i'm really into these looks so thanks so much for requesting this Thanks to Costa for sending your picture. And I've also created a preset on exactly this look on my website. Link is under this video. That all presets pack includes this preset of today, but also 100 different presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures to make them look great. And of course, if you buy it once, you will be getting all the new presets that I'm doing on a weekly, at the moment, even daily basis updated automatically so you just have to get it once and you'll have a growing pack it's a great deal make sure to check it out link is under this video now also if you haven't already make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell to show me that this is something that you're interested in and um, keep me motivated to keep bringing these videos to all of you guys who are watching this thank you so much for the love the support that you're showing to me my channel means so much to me i'm really grateful for all of this so um i hope you enjoyed um, this video and my work once again if you have questions or new ideas for videos feel free to dm me on instagram at steven womack is my handle i'm always open for conversation now thanks so much for watching i hope i'll see you in the next video till then stay creative stay healthy peace